Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore a supermassive black hole using dead stars as cosmic weapons. NASA has discovered a supermassive black hole that killed one star and is now using the wreckage to destroy another star or black hole. The Chandra X-ray Observatory and other telescopes combined to spot the black hole that is on a killer mission. The findings were published in the journal Nature. In 2019, a burst of light was observed by an optical telescope in California. A black hole had shredded a star that got too close to it using its powerful tidal forces. The event was later categorized as a Tidal Disruption Event, or TDE. All that remains after the event is a disk that orbits the black hole. This disk grew in size over time, expanding at a regular rate. This has brought it in the path of another star, possibly a stellar mass black hole. This black hole is orbiting the massive black hole. While earlier it was at a safe distance, now it is repeatedly crashing into the disk left behind by the dead star. This happens every 48 hours with each collision resulting in a burst of X-rays that Chandra captured. Imagine a diver repeatedly going into a pool and creating a splash every time she enters the water, said Matt Nickel of Queen's University Belfast, United Kingdom, the study's lead author. In this case, the star is like the diver and the disc is the pool. Each time the star strikes the surface, it creates a huge splash of gas and X-rays. As the star orbits around the black hole, it does this over and over again. The X-ray burst is a cosmic phenomenon that occasionally occurs in the universe and has been named quasi-periodic eruptions, or QPEs. Astronomers had been observing them for some time, but were not able to pinpoint the reason. The discovery of this supermassive black hole on a killing spree is proof that TDEs and QPEs are connected experts think. Researchers believe that QPEs happen when an object smashes into the disk left behind after the TDE. The study authors say that this might not be the case with all of them, but they are the source of at least some QPEs. There had been feverish speculation that these phenomena were connected, and now we've discovered the proof that they are, said co-author Dhiraj Pasham of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It's like getting a cosmic two-for-one in solving mysteries. The Chandra data was obtained during three observations, each with a gap of about four to five hours. Chandra time exposure was about 14 hours, and it revealed only a weak signal in the first and last chunks, but a very strong signal in the middle observation. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.